came from the bottom, he had it like me. He know how to hustle, he scurry out the streets. Yeah. He got it, you want it, he charging a fee. Official Miss Jamaica, wait. Roll a tape, she ain't never fake. No. She gon' be the one to really try to motivate. Tell it to your face why the mother hoes hate. Money Moses, he gon' be the coldest. If you got a secret, he the one that's gon' expose it. If you wanna laugh, he the one to keep you rolling. He gon' keep you rolling like a motherfucker bowling. And they be going hard on the interview. She got like 20 yeah. With Hold up. XO music on the interview. Hold up. XO music on the interlude. Yeah, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. I had to let that thing roll for a little bit that time, man. Hey, man. Check it, check it, check it. It's your boy, ECEO, man. I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding official, Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not even on my dad walk on. Man, man, man. Here we go again, man. This guy right here, man, he don't need no introduction, man. This guy right here, man, if you listen to music, man, you better keep your real whole ear on, man. Tago is in the building. What's going on, man? Man, how that boy end up on that dang boss talk? They they trying to find I out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take old man. So, man, you know my wife, man. If you watch any of our episodes, you know she's going to go down through that with Have you. Have you watched any of our episodes? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Okay, just checking. Just yeah. checking. So, okay, we'd like to know a little bit about you, Tego. Where are you from? Who well, you know? What's going on in your life? All right, my family, they uh, Kenyan. So, okay. like, my, my origin, like, they from over there. But I'm born down here in Arlington, Texas. Mm. So, Have you been to Kenya? Yeah, I just came back from over there. That's awesome. Yeah. When was the first time you went? Uh, When I was five years old. Oh, you don't remember that? Yeah, no, I remember. You do? Yeah. What did? How did you feel about it? What did you see that just, like, tripped you out? Um, It's the lifestyle. Like, it's different. But it's, like, it's more, the culture is, like, you feel more, it, it's, like, uh, it brings you in. Like, being over there, I, I like being over there more than I like being over here. So you move over there? Yeah, I'll move over there. Really? That's, that's the goal, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So you can make money over there? Huh? You can make money? Yeah, a lot. Really? Yeah. More than here? Yeah. <laughs> you got to think about that for a second. You pause for a second like you wasn't so sure. Mm, you can make a lot of money over there. Really? Because, like, the currency is cheaper over there. So, mm -hmm. like, say if you bring 100000 from over here... You take it over there, you going It's way more, I know, but at the same time, it's like the dollar difference. So you buy a pen over here for 50 cents. Over there, it might be 10,000. I'm just, you know, saying whatever. Yeah. 10,000. But that 50 cents still equivalent to that. So it's like, it's almost like the same, but it just sounds different to everybody because I'm from Jamaica. So it's like, yeah. it's the same thing with our, our dollar. Our dollar is like 155 to one US dollar. Yeah. So when people go down there and be like, how much, this over here it costs a dollar and I have to pay a hundred and what? Yeah. It they sounds got, ridiculous, but it's really the same. Do they got kiosk and all that over there? Yeah. The kiosk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they got, they got, they got a lot of stuff. Would you go back and move over there? I have a vacation home. Yeah. But the only reason I wouldn't move over there because I have kids here. Oh, God. You know what I mean? My kids probably wouldn't want to move over there. Yeah. So that's the only reason why. Um, When it comes to education, I think when I was over there, like, I found myself, like, learning more when I was over there than mm -hmm. compared to when I was over here. They focus a lot more on that's true. Uh, the education over there than they mm -hmm. do over here. Like, when I was over there, like, uh, from what I remember, like, when I was, like, five, the teacher was slapping you. Mm-hmm. You got whoopings in school. You yep. get whooped. If you don't answer the question right, they, yep. they whoop you. Or, no, or if you didn't turn your homework in, we had a line of people sitting down waiting to get whooped because they didn't turn their homework in. Yeah. I'm telling you, but now I don't know. I, ha I left school a long time ago, so yeah. I don't know if they change that because a lot of times as things get you know more modern and U.S. changes stuff, yeah. other countries do adapt yeah. to the U.S. culture in a lot of different ways. Yeah. So I don't know if they're still doing that or not. Yeah, my mom said they changed it. See? Yeah, so they ended up changing the mm -hmm. the way of uh, life over there when it came to school. But some, some of them, uh, when I went over there just recently, they said they still getting... Slapped and all that mm -hmm. stuff in school, so and it's not abuse. It's not they're not getting abused or nothing like that. Yeah, it's not abuse, right? It's like uh, it's like structure, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Y'all can dress it up how you want to. They beating the hell out y'all over there. <laughs> y'all niggas conditioned. You know what I'm saying? Like no. it's not abuse, uh, but uh, yeah, that nigga. But uh, I had whips on me, and uh, he hit me. They didn't have no whips. Me. He slapped me. Yeah. What? That's a that's abuse. What the hell? So you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got a twin sister. 
Oh. Then I got a brother. He's a seven years older than me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they also went to Kenya when you went. Yeah, we all went as a family. Yeah. Did you stay like a whole month? No, nah, we stayed for three years. Three years. Yeah. I'm talking when you recently just came back. <laughs> oh, no, nah, no. Nah, I thought you were talking, <laughs> about talking about when you just recently came three back. Three years? No, nah, I stayed for a month. Oh, okay. Three years? Three years when I went the, the first, first time. Because you were young and you were just like, they just left you they over They wanted there. him to, to, to learn about yeah, his culture. They, I guess my mom wanted me to learn about my yeah, culture. Exactly. So she had us there for three years. You Which ready is to come good. Back there? You were ready to come back? No. Nah, it, you know, at first I was ready to come back. And then Got used after to I it. started being out there a little more... It's like I started adapting to it, and then I took liking to it, and I mm -hmm. didn't want to come back to the states. So we can't end up coming back to the states, and I had an accent and all that. I ain't even. I had to, you, you know, had I, an African accent. Yeah, I had an African accent. <laughs> like, you, how did it sound? You know how to talk? Do it, do it. What's the African accent like? Like they was like, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can't even imitate yes, it. Can. No, no, can't do it. it. He have to be able to do yeah. it. That's his family. So you know how to speak, uh, like they like have the language. They have like a different the language, language as well. Yeah, but you also know how to speak the broken English. Like I don't, I don't know how to speak it as good anymore. Mm. Yeah, but you was around them. But you can understand it very well. I can understand. Okay. Did your mom? She was proud of that. Well, uh, proud of what? Taking you over there like that. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah, she was, uh like, when she took me over there and we came back, it's like I was already accelerated m more than the kids mm -hmm. over here. So, like, when I came back, they, they thought I was dumb because of my accent. So mm -hmm. they automatically wanted to back. push us back because of the accent. They thought we was, like, illiterate. Is that the mm -hmm, word? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they thought we was illiterate. Well, we weren't, me and my sister. So, like, we had to prove to them, like, you know, I'm... We, we, I ain't gonna say I'm smart than the other kids, but like we were accelerate. Like what you learn in second grade over there is what you learning in fourth grade over here. Wow. That's how the same thing it is in Jamaica because I had friends in high school who weren't very smart at all. They come like last in the class and they migrated to the United States and they were they they were like first in their class. I'm like, how is that possible? Yeah, you used to goof off every time in in class. You never did any work. I know you went up there and you did the same thing, but it, they were like, it's just easier. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. But um, and the culture. When you talk about um going to going to different countries, when you're from a different country, because I knew that I wanted to do that, but I just wasn't able to do it. But everybody else that I know that live here in the states, what they normally do is send their kids home no, to go to. Put, no, see, you no, you they're normally see that he 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 wasn't gonna you're stand not for do it. That. But <laughs> normally, not my kid. what you do, you nice. send your kids back for schooling down there all the way up till maybe even high school, and they'll come up here and go to college. But otherwise, from that, you know, so I'm pretty or. Or if, if they go to school up here, they go down for summer holidays or, you know, um, any holidays they can so that can learn about the culture. Yeah, you know? learn about the culture is one thing, but I'm pretty sure that there's some Jamaican kids up there at the school with my daughter, and this, that's a senior. My daughter is uh, number three right now in that whole school, and I'm, gu I'm guaranteeing you there's some Jamaicans up there. <laughs> Don't make there me. is no Jamaicans up there. I guarantee you, there's some Jamaicans there up there. There's no She's Jamaicans senior. up there. She's number three right now. And uh, yeah, uh, so at the end of the day, I don't agree with that. <laughs> you, she ain't no, you bring them on over here if you want to. We got something for them. And you're not just going to come over here and be smarter than somebody because you, because y'all up in the classes a little bit. That ain't nothing. Nah, the, the that. way the education system set up over there, it's, it's set up, it's like set up different. It's not no answer questions like A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. You got to know the actual material. Well, we got to know the actual material here. And don't get it twisted. Y'all keep talking about how smart y'all <laughs> is over there. But when you when I look around, everybody from over there come over here, a lot of them. To work now, and make now, money. An opportunity to work over and here make money. Every day, That's to work it. and make nah. money. But there are some people who built this country on the precept of getting people to understand that they were good at what they do. I'm not saying we better than every country because I don't play that game, but there's a lot of opportunity here and that's why y'all keep showing up. To that's work why and your make parents money. showed up. Yeah, yeah we, they showed up because they wanted to the better the financial situation. Exactly. Okay. Money. That's and, it. and how do you make money? By people who create opportunity. Yeah. So there are some people here. I, I trip off y'all people. 
Because <laughs> Man, what, what I trip <laughs> off of is y'all so sharp and so intelligent. But when you look around and see the things that were created here, when it comes down to your Apple computers and all the stuff that we, the computer system, Bill Gates and all that, all of your billionaire, millionaire. Because you had the money to had? do it. Because it, it you didn't had just the start to with the it. money. It was built on our backs. Actually, a lot of times I look at I hate to, I don't want to get banned like Kanye around this thing. But there was a lot of slavery and a lot of activity went on here that made it to where it advanced the people you understand what I'm saying so mm -hmm. there's a reason why this country runs the way it was built on a lot of African Americans backs mm -hmm. and then you you reaping the benefits of it riding around in your whatever you got your Bentley coops or whatever <laughs> and 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 but it was our ancestors yeah that and I don't want to get banned like I say like Kanye but our ancestors built this country man for mm -hmm. free a yep. lot of times in a lot of situations with the help of our constituencies our white constituencies yeah so it was a combined combination of uh, of, of building together and then you look up fast forward and you say i come over there because the finance is better it's it better because it was built on 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 the backs of slavery and a, a lot of opportunity that was built on on our patriarchs and some of the you know your pre, your, your founders of this country. So don't get it twisted. Don't yeah. don't think brothers over here. We ain't, I'm gonna stand in the gap for my people. No, that's fair. I'm not gonna play with y'all because y'all come over here thinking y'all smarter than somebody, <laughs> thinking people lazy a lot of times. And I just want to check y'all up on that because I ain't now now one of y'all gonna outwork me. Ah, uh, nah, I don't think I'm smarter than no, 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 no. I just said that. Yeah. <laughs> That's boss talk, man. I'm gonna get you known. Man. Play with me if you want to. <laughs> no, so we. I love the way that you was uh, actually uh, uh, sent over uh, to me. Shout out, Mr. Lee. Yeah, Mr. Lee. Real. Yeah, Mr. Lee uh, told me that you was one of those guys that I had to talk with because of you. You were special. Yeah. And he sees something in you um, that says that you. There's greatness in you. Yeah. And I just want to say that that's commendable for somebody to even look at you in that way and say, hey, man, there's something great in that guy, man. Talk to that guy. Yeah. How how did you and Mr. Lee link, link up and what is that all about? Mr. Lee and I met uh, due to Rudy. Rudy at uh, Rap A Lot. Okay. Yes. Uh, so Rudy and an uh, artist I work with named Johnny, we ended up, uh, they, come, they came down here for Johnny's show and, uh, we ended up going to Mr. Lee's house. I ain't even know we was going to Mr. Lee's house. Like, we, he, Rudy was just like, oh, yeah, we're going to Mr. Lee's house. I was like, all right, cool. We went to Mr. Lee's house, and then Mr. Lee just staring at me the whole time. And then he said I remind him of himself when he was at 20 years old. Wow. That's a compliment. Yeah. And, like, I didn't take too much into it. I just was like, oh, okay. And then we ended up talking, and, you know, he, we ended up talking even more. And then... We end up going. I end up coming to his uh his place. Like you know, we end up just kind of like showing me game and giving me game and insight about certain things that I didn't know about. And like you know, he just kind of like brought me in like a like a son or something. Wow. Yeah. That's heavy, man. You know, Mr. Lee uh, brought up brought up in a when I interviewed him, uh, he was brought up in a, in, a, in a foundation of his parents. He would go play, you know, instruments in the church and. And and um, you know, just was a, 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 a love music from a very young age. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And for him to even see something in you that says, "Man, when I was your age, I seen that. I seen that before. That's that's live, man. You should be that guy. Got about thirty one plaques, man. Yeah, he not nothing to play with, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I and and got a lot of love for what he what he brought to the music, man. Yeah. I thanked him like crazy when he came over here. Like, man, I just love what you brought, what you brought to the to the to the forefront for the mm -hmm. music down here in Texas. Man. Yeah, from Texas to Louisiana, man. Yeah. real talk. Yeah. So, okay, so you one of those people, man. You worked with some. You worked with. Uh, uh, you did some stuff with uh, uh, NBA Young Boy. Yeah, NBA Young Boy, like Rod Wave. But but just tell me the link. We gonna we gonna ride to the Rod Wave. But what? How did you end up linking with NBA Young Boy to do to even get to be a part of his project? Um, me and Young Boy, like I haven't necessarily ever you know yeah met him, but met him. You, but he picked some beats and like I need to get that sauce. Yeah, like with Young Boy on this uh, last recent project I was on, uh, he had ended up uh, getting a beat off of this uh, producer named Bands. It was a collab that we did, and 
I and he ended up, uh, I guess, hopping on it. Bands told me like the night, uh, like three nights, four nights before, like, yo, we, we on NBA Youngboy Project. I was like, all right, cool. But uh, we had some other records prior to that, like uh, Not Wrong Now and See the Motions on his other last projects that when I first linked up with, uh, uh, I think it was Eli. Eli, his old, uh, his manager or something like that, like A and R. That's how I ended up getting them other first ones with Young Boy. So like I've had prior to these ones, I had like you know ones back in the day with them, like wow. three four years back. Wow, that's 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 heavy. And Rod Wave, how did you? He just picked out some. How did he end up linking to your sound? Rod Wave, I think it goes way back because I was doing tight beats. I guess Rod Wave. He was real into the sound, and uh, he ended up picking a liking to the beats. And I found him always using the beats. Like, he would use a beat, take the beat off YouTube, rap on it, and I'll see it on his story. So, like, and this one, he was first coming up. But he had this one song when uh, we first, first, first linked. It was called Heart for Sale. We did that one. Heart for Sale? Yeah, Heart for Sale. You know that one? Uh-uh. It's a song that he kind of like blew up with Heart for Sale. So we did that one, and then we and he ended up, you know, taking a liking to one's beats, and he was always going on my YouTube to listen to beats, take them, and then rap on them. And I literally see him go on the story, like you know, rap and post a snippet with it. I'm like, damn, got another one, got another one, got another one, got another one. How many did he do like that? Me and Rod Wade got a lot of songs. A lot? Yeah. How many? He's put out four projects. <coughs> We've been on, I've been on, well, he's put out more than four projects, but he, I've been on all the the projects pretty much that he's put out. Like, so we, we got stuff that's even, that hasn't even came out yet. Like, you know, we have a whole lot of songs that we done did. Have we reached out to you at all? Yeah. Me and Rod Wade talk. He calls you. Like, we talked this one last recent. Like, we ain't, like, just, oh, buddy, buddy, talking Best every day. Best y'all business. Yeah, like, we talk. But we, mm-hmm. like, remember he called me uh, early this year, and he was talking to me about the project that he wanted to put out, like, just recently. So, like, he was telling me about it and all that stuff and, you know, about Lincoln uh, in Florida to go do it and whatever, et cetera. So, like, yeah, me and Rod Wade, we go way That's back. That's big, man. yeah. That's big. It's because of the sound, right? I like that, man. I think that's dope, man. Uh, you got some. You got some music on that phone. Send me some, man. Oh, uh, let me let me listen to some of the beats that you done created, man. Oh yeah, I got a lot. Send it to me. Send. Can you text it to me? Yeah, yeah. Text it to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I wanna play it on here. Some stuff that you ain't you know put out yet or not you know. But I got you. I always do that with the with the producers, like. And you never see. Did you ever say um, why you even got into this business? Um. Yeah. Send it to I've me. always been in music. Okay, how? Like, when I was young, I was uh, doing piano. And then when I was... Uh, how like, old when you say you Like, fourth grade. I was always doing piano okay. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, like, the crazy part is I was always in music. Didn't know I, I was going to be doing music. Mm-hmm. When I got out of high school, personally, I just wanted to figure out what I was trying to do with life. Did your parents love music because they got you enrolled in, in music? My parent, my mom, she didn't get me enrolled in music. Mm-hmm. That was actually my aunt. She got oh. me enrolled in there. Yeah, because at okay. the time, my mom was still in Kenya. Okay. Yes. So when she's there, you stay with your aunt? Yeah. Okay. So, like, she got me enrolled in uh, piano and mm-hmm. uh, all that stuff. And then um, it's crazy because I was in a band in middle school. And I was playing trombone. I ain't take it serious. And my teacher, I remember him getting on me. He was like, man, you know, you could really do something. You could be something with it and this and that, this and that. I just didn't take it serious because mm-hmm. I didn't see no importance No future, in it. right. And I was being more of a follower than being <coughs> an actual leader. Right. Like, I, I saw all my homeboys and all them going to play football and doing all the athletics and sports when I... T- <laughs> Could have took a liking to mm-hmm. being in that, like, cause I was in choir and I was in 
in band right and all that's that. how my kids my kids are my kids don't want to do no sports they they want to do band choir and all of that that's what they do yeah and they love it yeah does your sister do the same thing music Mm-hmm. Nah. That would have been dope. Both yeah, of y'all cause twins. Yeah. That would have been dope. People expect that though. Mm-hmm. Let me see what you got. So how long it take you to make a beat like that? Just for certain beats, like when it comes like stuff like that, that one take me a little bit because yeah. it's like a lot of elements in it. Yeah, I can yeah, hear yeah, it. Yeah. But when it comes to like just like uh, just trying to make something real fast or something like that, I'll end up making a beat like ten minutes, five minutes, or it just depends. But when I'm like really trying to put something into a craft, like or making something like for real, for real, then it'll take me a long time to make a beat. Like that one took me a long time. How long? That one, I came back to it. Like it took me like a week. Oh, that's a long time for you. Yeah, that, that, that was a long time. Like it just took me a week cause I kept coming back coming and back forth. To it. But then there's sometimes I'll, I'll even be making a beat for months. Like depending on like how I'm trying to actually mm -hmm. like hear it or make it, I'll come back probably delete a sound or and make something the beat else. in different ways right. or whatever. Do you ever try to add like African elements into your beats? Oh uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, because to me, I, I like I hear certain things in that that it reminds me of it. Yeah, like that. Um, I don't know if that's a drum, but it almost remind me of like a conga drum, like that. Yeah. And then you know that in particular made me think about that. Yeah, like every time I make a beat, I always add like some type of like drum, movement, drum. like a tribal drum. Cause I love the drum, and I love that um, it's not a tambourine, but it's almost like that. What you call that? It's, it's like I'm seeing the instrument, but I can't remember the it's name. It's a bongo. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. It's not not a drum. Isn't a drum a bongo? Mm -hmm. Not 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 the drum. It's like a that sound when you have like bells. Which one? it's in it's in there. It's in there. Like a chime. Yeah, like a chime. Mm. I can hear that in there too. Yeah. I like it. I like the way, because when you're doing that, you have to really keep going over to know when to introduce these instruments. Yeah. Because you can introduce them at the wrong time. Yeah. It's, and sometimes when you're making a beat, you have to hear for the artist on the beat. Like, like sometimes you just freestyle, and then sometimes you want to also leave room mm -hmm. a lot of times for the artist to, like, still speak on and have room. And I remember at first, when I was first making beats, I used to want to put like a hundred sounds right. and forget about the artist. Ah. And it's like, I remember somebody telling me like, remember the artist is the last instrument. So like, I started trying to cut down or even if I'm adding a lot, I'll try to like, uh, mm, tone it down a little tone bit. It down a little bit. But you don't ever know which artist is going to like your um, beat. Cause when you make a beat, you don't know who's going to jump on it. Right? Yeah. Nah, you never, sometimes, I have in mind, and there's some beats, yeah, I do save for like certain artists. Certain artists, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's sometimes when I make a beat, I'll just make a beat just to be like, all right, let me just see what I come up with and just send it out and see who takes a liking to it. Cause do you feel ever feel bad when an artist hear your beat and be like, okay, I love the beat and I want to jump on it, but I need for you to change this, change that, and then we can work. Say that one more time. Like, you present a beat to me. I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. I love this beat, but maybe I want to take out the bongo. I want to add something else to it to make it my own. Do you feel bad about that when they change up your beat a little bit just to suit themselves? Nah, because that just happened to me recently. Oh, really? Yeah. With who? Uh, An artist named Treaty. Okay. And I had to redo my own beat. Like, literally, I was like, what? 
But I was like, dang, she didn't like it. But then I was like, oh, she, I mean, she want me to remake it. Okay. So I had to redo my own personal beat. Did you like it better afterwards? Yeah, I like what she was coming up with. Oh, okay. Because she was telling me, like, certain things that what she like and this and that, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, yeah, I see what you're talking about. So, like, I ended up having to do it in a way of how was she wanting to get on it. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's show your versatility. That's the reason why I like to ask that question, to show that you are open to changing, you know, because some people don't like to work with difficult producers, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, so, who's some of the producers that you like? Top three producers of all time, dead or alive. Mm. Top three to you. Um, this is just off the dome. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say Dre, Zaytoven, Metro. And Dre is number one. Why? I don't know, like, I just like Dre's uh, production, like, but really, like, I didn't have no actual, like... Reason why. Yeah, reason why. Just, no Timbaland not in there? Oh, that Timbaland, Timbaland cool, too. I was about cool to too. say. Yeah, Timbaland cool, too. <laughs> but he's Actually, not your top three. He's not your top three, though. Timbaland. Right, he's yeah. not in your top three. Uh, you didn't name him. You, you named Dre, Zaytoven. <laughs> For real. Beautiful. Don't, 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 don't. For real, too. <laughs> no, but they're if not you in had, your top If you gave three. me a list, I'll name uh -uh. all type. <laughs> I'll say Pharrell, Timberland, uh, Dre, Metro, Zaytoven. Um, Zaytoven. Metro, what, is Zaytoven Me what does Metro do? I don't, what song you do know, Metro, uh, touch you. Beautiful morning. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah, Metro hard. Got it. You know that song? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just the people that won really, like, took a whole liking to even Kanye like mm -hmm. Kanye bad. Kanye probably the hardest one you just see it out of all everybody for Kanye. me Kanye harder than all of them niggas yeah off the dome than all of them I yeah y'all don't want to hear that do you off the dome I would have probably said Kanye top. harder than all yeah, of them he, 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 he there with it like Kanye Go back and listen. when it comes to like inspiration and all that right. I listen to my favorite one is uh Jesus Walk Jesus Walks Ooh, um <laughs> It's a lot of Kanye beats that I just be like, man, this dude's crazy. Like, Kanye... He yeah, in the, he he in the news it. right now, but he a bad boy. Yeah, he is. Are you allowed to redo people's beats? Huh? Are you allowed to redo other people's beats? What you mean? Like, you, you have a beat that you just love, like one of your favorites. And you're like, man, this beat was made like 10, 20 years ago. You're like, oh, I want to take that beat and make it new, make it more modern to a, a, a artist, a, a recent artist. So I'm going to change up this, but you still ha like you sample it, you sample that old beat and make it into. I a hear beat. a lot of people making their own. It's like they take like the beat that they did with um, artists back in the day and they right. kind of rebrand it in the exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah. So have you ever done that? Uh, I've done that before, like like hear a beat that I have in mind, be like, man, it would be cool to bring that kind of feel back. Like, right. Yeah. Okay. Man, hey, man, uh, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to link up with you on a beat? Uh, you can contact me at uh, Instagram, Y-U-N-G underscore T-A-G-O. Man, did we miss anything? Uh, Twitter uh, at Y-U-N-G underscore T-A-G-O. Man. Hey, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Uh, you one of the guys, man, that have been on Boss Talk 101. You've been watching the show. You've been on the show. This is our spotlight, guys, for this week, man. Make sure you guys check him out. Y'all, he rocking with Rob Wave. He's not nobody to play with. He rocking with, uh, he done rock with NBA Young Boy. Uh, did I miss anybody? Uh, Fredo Bang. Fredo Bang. Stop playing. He can mm -hmm. keep going. That you, don't make him keep going. He'll keep going. That nigga young, but that nigga hungry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank it's you. A like, it's a lot. It's a lot. Who else? Jada Young is a lot. Jada Young, yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't play no games. Everybody can get a beat, nigga. Stop playing, man. I love these young folks, man. The young folks where it's at, man. Y'all better try to tap in, nigga. I'm riding with them. Hey, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah. It's been another great segment. I appreciate it. Another great segment. A boss talk 101. What a boss is talk, man. And we out. Come on.